Symmetry is a powerful security management system which links the functions of access control, intruder alarms and video for total protection in a wide variety of buildings. A range of controllers and card readers are available together with Symmetry security management software which allows the system to be configured and managed from a single easy to use platform. During this introduction to the Symmetry security management software we will look at how easy it is to configure and manage some of the more important access control features. You will learn how to create a new card holder, set up a trigger command, handle alarms and how graphic screens can make the system even easier for the operator to use. This is the icon for security symmetry management software which you will find on the desktop as well as in the start menus. Double click it and symmetry will start to run. Each operator will have a separate account, so the first task is to enter a username and password to log in. In this case, we don't have any specific accounts yet, so we will enter a default manager account. This is the main screen. All the symmetry functions can be found on the easy to use ribbon bar at the top of the screen. Here you can see the options that are available under tabs such as Home and Operation. For example, the trigger command is available under Operation and then simply click the trigger icon. If you use the button bar in older versions, it's possible to click the SMS icon in the top left hand corner, then select Classic Menu, Admin, Commands and Trigger to achieve the same effect. When setting up an access control system, the first task is to create entries for each person using the system. This is done via card holders. It's possible to edit an existing card holder by clicking the Find button, then select the card holder, followed by Open. It's possible to narrow the search by entering a name such as Smith and then click the Find button. We have no John Smith, so we'll create it with the new. We can now enter information such as last name, first name, and the card number. The active date defaults to the date the entry is created, but can be changed if required. The inactive date is optional and defines when the card will stop working unless it's renewed. Dates can be entered directly or set with a calendar function as shown. Here we have a number of badge designs, so the card holder is allocated to the layout called Symmetry. The system allocates a random PIN code for each card holder, but this can be changed if required. The customer code ties the card to a specific installation or group of installations for added security. A photo of the card holder can be included either from a webcam using the Live button or, as in this case, from a stored image. Click on Import, select the required photo and click Open. Move the selected area so the image is framed exactly as you want it on the card, then click Save. The Access Rights tab defines which card readers this card holder has access to. To simplify setup, combinations of card readers can be allocated to a particular badge design. So as soon as we allocated this card holder to the Symmetry badge, it automatically had access to the following card readers. The Personal tab allows you to record up to 50 items of personal data for each card holder. This can include information such as date of birth, manager's name or dates when they have completed certain training. One really useful function is the Locator tab which will show the last known location of the card holder. This could be useful, for example, in the event of a fire, if this card holder does not attend the muster. When security needs to be a little higher, fingerprint readers can be used. Here the biometrics tab is used to enroll fingerprints against the card holder. 
Once all the cardholder's details have been entered, click the Badge button at the bottom to see a preview of the badge design. If it looks right, the card can then be encoded so that it works with the appropriate card readers. In this instance, we're encoding it as a MyFair card. Click the Print button to print and encode the badge. Encoding and printing can take a while depending on the printer used. We've now created this new card holder, so click Save to close the screen. To see activity on the system, click the Home tab, followed by the Activity icon. Each card reader has a green and red LED to indicate whether the card has been accepted or rejected. When a valid card is presented to the entrance card reader, it is accepted, the activity is shown on the screen, and the green LED comes on. When the same card is presented to the cash vault reader, it's rejected, activity is shown in red, and the red light comes on. Let's have a look at a different type of card reader, where the screen shows a symbol asking the card holder to present their card. When accepted, the display then shows an open door. When we present a different card, which is rejected, the display shows that entry is not allowed. The tones differ to reflect whether the card is accepted or rejected. On a really large system, it would be difficult to monitor the activity screen, as there could be so much happening. The alarm screen can be much more useful, as it does not show normal events, just alarms. Showing the same activity on the alarm screen shows that nothing appears until we have an invalid condition. Seeing that again, but with the new Javelin card reader, we can see that nothing happens in the alarm screen when a valid card is presented. But an invalid card will display an alarm condition. To show how flexible symmetry can be, we're going to set up a trigger command so that when something happens, it automatically triggers some other events. Select Operation, followed by Trigger, and then click the New button. The next screen shows the If Then When format of the trigger command. Once we've entered a description, we can then describe if something happens, then something else is to happen, and when it should happen. So configuring the trigger is as simple as selecting that if a switch, which we're going to call trigger 3, goes into an alarm condition, then an output, which we've called siren, will switch on for a short period. We also want something else to happen at the same time, so clicking this icon will give us another then. So we can select that the output, called strobe, will also switch on for a short period. We can create another then, which says that the reader, which is called entrance, grants access, so it will open the door, and at the same time a serial device called the LED sign will display the word ev evacuate. The time code is the when element. Here we have two, 24-7 and weekday. If we select weekday, then the trigger will be active 9 till 5, Monday to Friday. We can see that this new trigger now appears in the list of available triggers. Now let's see that trigger in action. 
Opening the Activity screen allows us to see exactly what's going on. When the input is triggered, the Activity screen shows what's happening, the siren and strobe outputs are pulsed, the LED message changes to evacuate in red, and the green LED on the card reader comes on to show that the door has been released. If we run the same event again, but with the alarm screen showing, we'll see just one entry, the pressing of the switch. When we select the alarm, we see instructions to the operator informing him to call the emergency services, ensure that all employees are at their muster points, notify the key holder and send some guards out to investigate. Here we see the operator entering some text to explain what he did in response to the alarm and then clear it. The graphics screen can be really useful as it provides a simpler user interface to allow an operator to see what's actually happening on the security system. Here we can see the layout of two buildings. If we had an alarm in the log, we would see a red box around the appropriate part of the image. We can select more levels to give more detail until eventually we can see the graphics screen also allows control of devices. If we right click an icon for a reader, we can select grant access and we see the green LED coming on showing that the door has been released. In this presentation, you've seen a really small selection of the features available in Symmetry security management software. Symmetry can do so much more, as it is a complete security system package with powerful features such as video and visitor management. By using Symmetry Video, security staff find it much faster to locate video clips relating to particular alarms, which makes the system easier to use and increases security. If you would like to know more about what's possible with Symmetry, please contact your regional sales representative. Thank you for listening.